Hello, my name is Radhik Chaudhary and I am a first year MBBS student from Sri Satya Sai Medical College, Tamil Nadu. Today, as part of the continuous awareness program in our college, I am going to tell you about some critical clinical conditions and the underlying problems that we face during a, in a very important disease, maybe about more than 1 million cases per year, goiter. So what does your thyroid gland do for you? So basically it produces two hormones, thyroxine and thyronine. The two hormones are also known as T3 and T4. What they basically do is they regulate the metabolic function of your whole body. So now that we know about the basic functions of the thyroid gland, let us come to goiter. So what is goiter? Goiter is basically an enlargement of the thyroid gland. It may be due to many, many things. So how do you classify goiter? Before you study about the disease itself, you must know how to divide it. So three types, diffuse, multinodular, and solitary. So let us come to diffused goiter. So it is also known as Graves disease, which you may have heard a lot of times. The first thing that we must know about is that there is overproduction of hormones. Most commonly it is known non-toxic but it also may be toxic. You can see the enlargement of the throat. Now there is also another type of diffuse goiter, diffuse non-toxic goiter. It is not at all related to hypo or hyperthyroidism here. But there is hyperplasia or hypertrophy which means increase in cell mass or the whole body of the thyroid gland. So let us come to the causes of goiter. They may be physiological or dietary causes. First, physiological, puberty or pregnancy. There may also be dietary causes like you heard of a lot. When we come to the dietary causes, there may be calcium or fluoride in water, lithium, thioracyl. Also, hereditary causes, Graves disease, lymphoma, thyroiditis. Coming to the treatment of goiter. For really small goiters, there is no treatment required. You just need to reassure the patient and iodine support is given. For large or bigger goiter, you need total thyroidectomy. Coming to multinodular goiter. Now basically this is a progression from diffuse goiter. The goiter, the thyroid gland can become as big as 2 kgs. So the, basically what happens is there is hypoplasia of all the nodules of the thyroid. There is also one important feature that we must know that even though the size of the thyroid gland increases, there is euthyroidism which means normal functioning of the thyroid. Notice the multiple nodules that have enlarged. So what are the causes of multinodular goiter? They are quite simple as I first said. That it can be a progressive enlargement of diffused goiter. It is a sporadic development. Like it can also be due to previous irradiation to the neck due to which there might be hyperplasia. So some pathological features may be there may be abundance of colloid inflammation, infarction, hemorrhage, fibrosis, calcification, and cyst formation in the thyroid. What can be the clinical presentations of the disease? It may be cosmetic, obviously it won't look good, discomfort, irritating cough, dysphagia, hyperthyroidism, and hoarseness of voice. Coming to the complications of goiter. The local symptoms may be stridor, means irregular breathing, dysphagia, retrosternal enlargement, toxicity, malignant change, and hemorrhage into incest. Hmm. Coming to the treatment of multinodular goiter, you can give thyroxine, or there are surgical options like total thyroidectomy and near total thyroidectomy. So we talked about the disease, its complications and everything related to it. First, how would you investigate thyroid? That is the most important thing. 
So the most sensible and universal investigations done are ultrasound. We'll also look for antibodies, serum cholesterol, thyroidine isotope scan. So hence, we've talked of all things goiter. But what is most important is what you will learn from this video. What will you take home from this video? You must understand that goiter is a really prevalent disease in India and all around the world. As I said earlier, there are more than 1 million cases per year. It is not a joke. It is, as you looked at the photos, you must can imagine the pain that the patient must be going through. And it is a really easily preventable disease. We, we do not have to work hard to erac eradicate this. I hope that we will all to work together towards this. Help the poor. Iodine is red readily available in every, everywhere. So I hope that you learn something from this. You help others. And thank you. In the end, do not forget to like and subscribe this video. Thank you.